Hello, my name is Dana Pedro. I am the Development Manager for IBM Rational Developer for System Z, and I am going to give you a brief demonstration of the integration of CA Endeavor source code management software with the development environment that comes with IBM Rational Developer for System Z, which I'll call RDZ for brevity. Uh, and actually makes it easier for me to give the demonstration. So first off, let's introduce the RDZ desktop. It looks similar to uh, other, mod other modern IDEs or development environments. Over on the left-hand side are the projects, uh, in this case uh, potentially COBOL programs or uh, Assembler or PL1, um, JCL that you might want to work on. Over here on the right-hand side is access to partition data sets, sequential data sets, GDG files, etc. on your mainframes. I have on my desktop connections to uh, three different mainframes here, MVS-171, CTS, MVS-08. Um, we also support connections to various other environments besides the OS. In the middle, is a blank pane right now. This will be the editor window, and it will get populated as I go through the demonstration. Outline view is an outline of what's in the editor view, which will get populated as things go into the editor. So with that basic backdrop, let me show you some other things. Over on uh, the mainframe, you have access to MVS files, access to Unix files, access to your jobs and JES within the MVS files. You set up various filters to access different partition data sets. By right mouse buttoning, buttoning, you can allocate, you can move things to projects, you actually can get out and go to, to, a, to an emulator. Um, I've already created uh, some projects over in my ZOS projects that link to uh, various applications. When you double-click on one of those, it actually brings it from the mainframe into the editor window and locks it on the mainframe so that nobody else can, can change it. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it has color highlighting content assist. There's a bar for line 72. You can actually make the editor look like ISPF if you want as well. Uh, mine's not set up that way. So that's the basic uh, layout of RDZ. Let's talk about how uh, it's integrated with CA Endeavor uh, source code management. So down here at the bottom of my screen, we have the Karma repository view, which looks at the various SCMs. In this case, I have Karma installed on, CTF, uh, on MVS-171. And this is the Endeavor installation. First thing we would do is set up a new view, which is a filter of the part of the Endeavor uh, repository that I want to look at. So using uh, a key value mix here, we set up the filter that we want. I'm going to look at environment SMPL asterisk, and let's look at the, just the COBOL programs that are there. Type COBOL. This will set up a view, and this is it right here, SMPL type COBOL. You can, if you, if you this doesn't get it narrow enough. You can come in and do a change view and add um, say, let's look at stage emergency. And so on. Within that view, you then can do the drop downs and it will um, show you what's what's available. So, uh, first thing you might want to do is 
look at a particular program. Uh, look to see if it's the one you want to look at. Let's so let's double click on FinApp 02. This will bring you into the. It'll populate this editor window, and it'll put you into browse mode. What I'm doing is for this demonstration, I'm double clicking on the tab that expands it to maximize. Uh, because the resolution is lower, it's just easier to demonstrate it this way. We're actually in browse mode here, and uh, you can see it's you've not checked it out of Endeavor, so it's um, just just looking for viewing. So if you really would like to edit this, close that. The way you do that is put it into a project. So we're going to do that by saying extract to a remote project. Let's create a project. And a uh, sub-project here. The next question here asks us about property groups. And what a property group is to RDZ is it's all the compiler options and syslib and preprocessor kinds of options that you would that you would need associated with um, a particular element. In this case, we're actually taking it out of Endeavor, and Endeavor knows all this information, so we'll actually get this information from Endeavor. So I'm not going to create a property group. Hit finish, hit finish, and a panel will come up asking me uh, the kinds of information that Endeavor wants to, to know, like the change control ID, comment, and, and various options on whether you want to replace it, expand members, etc. It remembers what I last entered, so I'm going to hit OK, and it creates a project, subproject, and um, puts the element that I extracted into it. You'll notice that the subproject actually shows the association of where in Endeavor by mouse by rolling over it with the mouse you can see that. So let's double click on uh, the element that I extracted. And we now bring it into the editor. We've actually mapped let me show you here by saying show dependencies. We've actually gone and gathered the information from Endeavor about all the dependencies that this particular uh, element has. Uh, on this panel, I can actually select things and bring them into the subproject, but I just wanted to show you that we now know where all the dependencies are. Let me see here. Let's cancel this. I'm going to expand this so you see the editor. Uh, in the editor, this one has a copy book header copy book. By clicking on this, you can actually look at this copy book member. Uh, we're now in browse mode because that's what I asked it to do. You also have access to uh, content assist. I'm going to do a move here and you remember in that copy book there was a report new field variable and so on. So that's content assist. And as, as I'm typing, the smart editor is actually telling me um, that it's not quite complete yet. And it's, it's checking the syntax as I'm typing. It's all part of Rational Developer for C. I'm not going to save that. Close this. So once I've made my changes, I can then put them back into Endeavor by doing team, copy to RAM, fill out the appropriate uh, information here. Uh, another thing to note here is that we have populated the panel with the metadata that we are aware of. We took this out of production stage, and uh, Endeavor doesn't allow us to put things back into production. So even if I submitted this, uh, it does not override the rules in Endeavor. Endeavor would, have, would put this into emergency because that's what our rule is. You can also look at the output listing of the last generate. Uh, you can also um, do various actions from here as well. Custom, you can do a generate, uh, etc. package activities. 
So another nice thing is if you want to look at the history of a particular element and what's going on here, we put a bunch of stuff into emergency. So let's go look at that. <clears throat> I'm going to right-click on FinApp02, show history. This shows a couple of histories. By selecting two elements, you can say right mouse button, compare with each other. This will bring it into the compare editor. I'm going to double click here so you can see it. And it visually will show you the differences between the two different uh, files that are, or two elements that I have uh, selected. Close that out. Go back to the repository view. There's also various actions like we highlighted before where custom actions where you can do a generate from the uh, repository view. Uh, you can do various package actions, commit, back in, approve. You can add new elements uh, via this panel or, or if I wanted to come over and, and do that all from uh, the project view as well. Print element gives you the, the, the uh, output listing. So that's what I wanted to show you uh, today, and so uh, I thank you.